To be fair to the people who are pushing this Bloomberg presidency idea, there is a piece in the Wall Street Journal. I'm going to get to it. I found, that, that, yes. There are some I'm, people who so wouldn't, here, make, wouldn't make money directly so off a of Bloomberg here, campaign. That's right. But certainly would be for a Bloomberg campaign. That's right. So exactly. So we have found some of these Bloomberg supporters who are outside of the Upper East Side penthouse that Bloomberg lives in. I mean, by outside, and by outside, it might mean like a block away. It might mean that they live across the hall. It might even mean that they live, you know, in in, uh, in Gramercy. I mean, you know, there's a range here. It might even be a voter in Westchester. I would suggest maybe even a couple of dozen Bloomberg voters in Westchester. So the Wall Street Journal and in their infinite wisdom wanted to check in on a really vital New York City constituency to see how our current Sandinista Mayor Bill de Blasio is performing in his duties, as everybody knows. Uh, Mayor de Blasio ran on taking care of, on dealing with the inequality crisis, affordable housing, rolling back stop and frisk, and really taking on the actual issues that affect the vast majority of New Yorkers, including, uh, you know, shockingly many uh, those with less, uh, mel- you know, less uh, pigment in their skin. Uh, you know, white people are actually also affected by uh, an affordable housing crisis. Uh, but being that as it may, and, and, and many uh, on the left and many progressives uh, continue to have criticisms of some aspects of what Mayor de Blasio has done, as well as a lot of praise. Um, and because he's an actual liberal progressive mayor. But of course, in the Wall Street Journal, Fox News, Upper East Side, what, whatever, you know, par, I don't know, whatever kind of fantasy universe that these people swim in, the same people that think that Democratic voters in Iowa are clamoring for a Mike Bloomberg run, they wanted to check in and find out what, you know, what, well, basically what white people thought of how Mayor de Blasio was doing. And I think we have found... In this Wall Street Journal article, let me just tell you something. Mayor Mike, save your money, okay? You don't need to pay one of these hustlers a focus group. I found you a nice little focus group of good voters for you. The type of Manhattanites that really could net you, I would say, about you know 3% of the vote in a New York primary. Your buddies at the Wall Street Journal did the work for you. Your already. buddies at the Wall Street Journal hooked you up. Buddy slash rivals. All right. Let me read some of these quotes from the... Uh, Wall Street Journal article on how whites think of uh, Bill de Blasio. Now, of course, Gawker has done the translation here on this is the white people view of de Blasio. The Wall Street Journal uh, piece is just a metro story where they just sort of happen to talk to random New Yorkers about how they think our Sandinista mayor is doing. Okay, quote number one. He's so down on me, said Gene Kelly, a 71-year-old Democrat from Manhattan's Cooper Square neighborhood, (laughs) who is white. He's looking out for the poor. (laughs) That sounds to me like the type of Democrat that might be willing to kneel before A a President Bloomberg Escalade. He thinks it's all the fault of the rich, said Ida Gurowicz, a 69-year-old retiree on the Upper East Side. And I can do that voice because that doesn't sound totally dissimilar from my grandmother. <laughs> Voice-wise, not content-wise. She's a good, good Democrat, good union Democrat. You don't have to read the tea leaves to read which way things are going, said Stanley Bleeker, the Mill Basin neighborhood of Brooklyn. I think I do, because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Stan, but I'm assuming it involves... And this guy's living in the Mill Basin area of Brooklyn. assuming it involves... Is that a good neighborhood? Is that one of those rich Upper East Side type neighborhoods? Black (laughs) people. It involves black people, Stan. I actually don't know Mill Basin at all. Um, Well, uh, Brooklyn's pretty big. Now we're finally getting. Well, my this, point is now that we, all these people are in Manhattan yeah, yeah, except well, for this one guy. Right. Well, now we're getting. Now we're getting good. Now, now people are, are not getting uh, their you know names fully quoted, so now they can get more direct. I think he's genuflecting to the black community, Sharpton, and all the race baiters who bring them in there, some kind of inner circle," said Mister Al, Mister <laughs> Mister A, Mister Al. He's almost a social communist, 
<laughs> said Rochelle Weidberg, a Democrat from the Queens neighborhood of Forest Hills. <laughs> Which I could see. That's uh, Matt's uh, aunt right there. He's out of town all the time. He's disrespectful and he shows up late. All right, fair point. He does need to learn to show up on time. And he never takes out the trash. And he never takes out the trash. And he never calls me on Mother's Day. Is, is this woman projecting her hatred of somebody else on Bill de Blasio? Probably. I can't stand him. Everything he does makes me angry. <laughs> All right, this so this woman is definitely not talking about Bill de Blasio. No, because I, you know, the great thing about Bill de Blasio is that, yes, besides like, yes, he's a big liberal and everything, but you know, he's such a like, he's not the most charismatic guy in the world. So to sort of like get such feelings about like, like Bloomberg just as a personality was definitely a more kind of like engaging, ca- you know, you the felt cartoon character. you felt him as this presence in the city more than de Blasio. Uh, so, anyways. There who's you have it, guy roaming around. Yeah, who's it. this tall guy talking about the fucking Dominicans? <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Next thing you know, he's going to nationalize Christides. <laughs> Christides is an overpriced, obnoxious food mart in the Upper West Side. So there you have it, Isn't folks. Isn't that the one that guy runs? The one I who ran for so. mayor? What's his name again? John Katsimides? Katsimides. Yeah. Oh, God. We really do have crazy people in New York. Um... <laughs> Yeah. So uh also I like that so he's almost a social communist. Like what does that mean? Like I like I'm a social drinker. What is it? It's like, well, I'm a social communist. I don't really I'm a communist at parties. Yeah, I don't really I mean uh, no, I mean I only smoke when I'm a communist. I <laughs> it's not like a regular Listen, thing. I promote commie values, you know, when I'm when there's a celebration to be had, you know, no. graduations, birthdays. Right. Wouldn't it be funny, maybe if de Blasio actually came out and and announced that once a month he was in one of his social communist phases, you know, and he came out like in a, in like some fatigues, he had a Che Castro thing going on. So there you have it. Mike Bloomberg getting hustled. He's not going to actually do it, but if he did it, we found a handful of his voters. 